What's happening everyone? Welcome back to the shop. Now, as you can see, I've just added a new machine to the shop. Not quite a woodworking machine, but uh, it's one of my passions and I thought I'd share it with you guys. I've just bought a new motorcycle and I've kind of added a new mechanics section to the shop. So uh, my shop is kind of multi-purpose. It's uh, everything I kind of enjoy working on in life, I will be doing in here. So uh, yeah, I have a new layout. I'll take you through it quickly. I'll take you through this new machine and uh, yeah, let's jump in and have a look. Right guys, here we go. This is the new section of the shop and this is the new machine in question. This is a CBR1000R and this is a 2010 model. Now I hadn't quite uh, planned on buying a bike just yet, but because of the way the insurance company works in Ireland, if you're more than two years off, or if you're two years off a motorcycle, you lose your no claims bonus and it makes it hard to insure um, a high powered bike again. You kind of have to start back on a lower powered bike for a year or two before you can move on again. So I rang the insurance company to get a quote on a bike. They said I had about two weeks left before my no claims bonus ran out. So I had to go buy a bike. And uh, this one came up for a great deal. It's a fantastic bit of kit. It has a 2006 Fireblade engine in it. And uh, it's a 1000 cc. It's a down tune from the Fireblade engine. So it's down to 135 brake horsepower, I believe. Has the nice little small Ixel exhausts made in Italy. And it's uh, essentially a naked, sports bike for all the world it has this the fireblade front end fireblade forks like i say the 2006 fireblade engine um the 2006 fireblade engine had a longer stroke so it can be tuned for more mid-range which is exactly what they've done for the motor in this bike they just gave it a load uh, more mid-range and low end grunt hasn't quite got the top end of the fireblade but um it's a naked bike so you don't need all that power on a naked bike it's not very well fared so uh yeah it's a cracking bit of kit. Like I say, it's a 2010. Wasn't that expensive. I just had to buy a bike. It wasn't a model I was intending on going. I was hoping to buy a bike next year. But uh, uh, as I say, the insurance company forced my hand, so I had to go buy this. So I'm pretty happy with it. It's um, it's pretty quick. It's pretty powerful. It's a, it's, it's a lot of fun to ride. So as you can see, I've moved all my mechanics tools down this end of the shop. I've took down the rack system. Um, and move it up there. That's the great thing about this uni strut. It's very modular, very easy to move. I've done a video on this particular rack system. I'll leave a link up here for it if you want to check that out. So half the rack system is down in that corner. I moved my assembly table down there as well. So it's actually freed up a lot more space around here. The bike is easy to move in and out according as I need it or around the shop. So uh, yeah, I will be doing some mechanic stuff. If that um, is any interest to you guys or motorbikes, I have a lot of stuff that I do with bikes. If that's interesting to you, leave um, comments below and uh, I'll share that on this channel. If not, I can just keep it with the woodworking stuff. But um, this channel is kind of everything I do in this shop anyway. So we might include it, we'll see. So yeah, let's rock around the shop. Right, just give you a quick close up on the bike itself, just um, so you can see it. Uh, like I say, it's a 2010 model, so it's nine years old, almost a 10 year old bike now at this stage, but it's in beautiful condition. It just has, you know, little marks here and there, nothing that you wouldn't expect to find on a 10 year old bike, just little wear marks, stone chippings, things like that. But overall, it's in fantastic condition. Um, a lovely, lovely bike, single sided swing arm, so you can see the whole back wheel on this side. Nice little stubby Ixel exhausts, again, made in Italy. Um, they sound fantastic, not overly loud, not overly obnoxious, but uh, people will know where they are. I'll give you a listen to that now in a second. Um, like I say, it's a naked style bike again, so it's kind of like that Street Fighter style, which I really, really like. It's um, a lot more usable for road use than the, I suppose, the extremely focused sports bikes. And like I say, this thing is plenty powerful and plenty fast for my needs. I've driven sports bikes all my life as well, and uh, you can never get the best out of them on the road. But I find with Street Fighters, naked style bikes, you can actually have a little bit more fun on them. They're a little bit more usable and a little bit more road friendly. So uh, yeah, that's the bike guys. I'll give you a listen to the sound of it now. Right guys, I'll just fire it up for you there just to give you a listen to the exhaust. Um, bear in mind, we're on a little lapel mic here now, so you get the general idea, but it's not going to be a perfect sound, but uh, here we go. Nice deep rumble to it. It's not too loud, not too obnoxious, but uh, sounds pretty good. And we just kill it before we get carbon monoxide poisoning in here, but uh, that's what it sounds like. 
Okay, that's the bike and the mechanics section of the shop. Now up this end, I've moved my assembly table into this corner and I've moved half that pallet rack up here using that uni strut again. It's the great thing about it, it's extremely modular and it's easy just to take it up, put it down, shift it wherever you want. So I have all my offcuts up there now. So there's ash, sapili, maple, walnut, just bits of blocks, nice and handy, easy to get at and uh, off the floor and out of the way. So there's still plenty of space in the shop, which is nice. Right guys, there we go. That was just a little shop update vid just to share with you what's going on in the shop at the minute. So added the new motorbike and the mechanics section. That's another one of my passions in life. I've been riding motorcycles for about 20 years now and uh, I love them as much as I love woodworking. So I said I'd share that with you. Um, upcoming vids, I want to make some more hand tools. I really enjoyed making and using uh, those mallets, the block plane, the marking knives. Um, it's great fun to make your own tools and to actually get to use them on further projects. There's a Veritas uh, wooden block plane kit, which I want to get my hands on. I'm going to make a jack plane out of that, so that'll be an upcoming video. I need to add a pillar drill to the shop, so that'll be something that's coming up as well, and a way of heating this shop. We're coming into winter now, it's actually freezing in here now at the minute. I'm in a t-shirt, I've no idea why I'm in a t-shirt, but I'm, uh, I'm absolutely perished. So some sort of kerosene or diesel powered blow heater. To set up in the shop so i'll do a video on that too when i get my hands on one um i think that's it for now guys to all the new subscribers thanks very much the channel is actually starting to grow so that's fantastic and to all the existing subscribers and all the guys that regularly comment on my videos i appreciate it and all the support as always is uh, much appreciated so um yeah any questions or comments just leave them below and i will get back to you and for now i'm going to get out of here because i'm frozen half the date so uh, i'll see you in the next one guys take it easy